if we get the signal that the, really the, the, the tool are, bro are broken, we go back to the warehouse. If the tool is inside of the warehouse, can load it on the AGV, bring it there and change it. WFL mill turn technologies are taking automation to the next level. How are they doing that? They're using an AGV system. Franz, tell me about, oh, first of all, what's an AGV and tell me all about this system. An AGV is a really automate guided vehicle who drives more or less our mobile cell from one place to another. So we when, you, when you say mobile cell, a robot? Mobile cell, right, right. We create really a hybrid solution what integrates a flexible six-axis industrial robot directly driven on an HEV and this more or less creates the mobile of the cell from one cell to another. So essentially that AGV can move from one machine to another machine in simple terms to another machine? Correct, right. On this system you've got a KUKA robot arm, but any robot arm can be integrated? Yes, for sure. It can also be integrated a FANUC, or ABB or a KUKA. Okay, now looking at this robot, it's a full six-axis robot, what payload can it take? It takes from 50 kg up to 1,000 kg, the payload of the robot. Okay, and what sort of size of components in terms of length? Uh, it depends on, on the machining components itself and depends on the payload. Okay. So it, can, it could be from 500 mm up to 3 or 4 meters. So it's a big, big part. I mean, the example, we've got the machine here, which is the M65, up to three meters. Yes. We've got the robot arm integrated on the AGV. What is it actually doing? In actually doing so, we create here a mobile cell who picks the part from a warehouse, or especially also a gripper from a warehouse, or it also can be tools from a warehouse. Take it on an intermediate storage on the cell direct, and then we move from the warehouse itself in front of the machine. So we take then the connections and then the process starts. It can be load the tools inside of the machine, it also can be uh, load the, the, the parts inside of the machine and we also can change more or less the jobs if it's necessary. Right, so just to reiterate, it's not just the components this can change over? No, it's really a 100% automated system who can change more or less everything what you need inside of the machine. There's a lot of processes going on, so I'm assuming really powerful software. Yes. You need a main computer who is connected directly to the mobile center, also to all the machines. So if you get the signal from the machine, you have to load the part, then our process starts. So we start at the warehouse, pick the part from the warehouse on the mobile cell, bring it in front of the machine and load it inside of the machine. And this is completely connected, so if you can organize three, four or five machines together with this software. For this system to be cost effective though, you're going to need a minimum amount of machines? Yeah, we said normally three, it takes also an, 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 an bi a bigger investment for that. And we said with three machines, depends on the machining time direct itself, it can be connected but also up to eight or twelve. The system itself is intuitive, so what happens if a tool breaks? If we get the signal that the, really the, the, the tool are, bro are broken, we go back to the warehouse. If the tool is inside of the warehouse, can load it on the AGV, bring it there and change it. I'm looking at automating my processes. I could go a gantry option, but normally with that type of option, machines all need to be in a straight line? No, you have not to move your machine because this is more or less the main, the main point where you have to implement the mobile cell. You have the 100% flexibility inside of your plant. Franz, this system, massive amount of flexibility for my machine shop, but how easy is it to install? You have just to connect all machines together, connect the manufacturing machine, and the mobile cell together with the main computer, install a cup cone system in front of the machine, and more or less that's it. So there you have it, automation taken to the next level. That's Franz from Fry Robotic Technologies, part of the WFL group.